The International Electrotechnical Commission is the leading global organization in electrotechnical standardization, founded in 1906 in London and established in Geneva since 1948. Never heard of the IEC or any of its standards? Then what about televisions, microwave ovens, batteries, light bulbs? Of course you have. Well, they're made according to IEC standards. CDs, DVDs, the screen on your MP3 player. It's the IEC again. Every single day, you use things made to IEC standards. From the hairdryer to the washing machine, to medical equipment, transportation, electric cables. They're part of your everyday life, making it easier and safer. Standards are like the air we breathe, intangible and invisible. However, if they didn't exist, you would immediately notice the difference. In short, they allow industry and technologies to speak a common language. Speaking a common technical language facilitates trade between nations. A product manufactured in the US can be easily exported to Germany, Brazil, Canada, South Africa or Singapore if all these countries use the same standards. How can all these countries speak the same technical language if each of them has its own different national standard? The answer is simple. Adopt IEC international standards at national level as national standards. The World Trade Organization looks to the IEC for its international standards because the WTO asks its members to consider international standards as the basis for their respective national standards. The process is the same at the regional level, with regional bodies adopting international standards as regional ones. But what are the benefits from IEC's international standards for me as a person? Well, you'd be surprised. When you plug in the vacuum cleaner or the razor you just bought, you don't stop to think that very ordinary gesture could provoke a short circuit or give you an electric shock. You do it on trust. Safety is taken for granted, due in good part to the standards used by industry. The IEC publishes standards that allow manufacturers to ensure their products meet strict safety criteria. In addition to its standards, the IEC provides a certification system that allows industry to test its products and certify they are in accordance with international standards. In between the IEC standard and the product you bought, there are indispensable intermediaries, energy producers and suppliers, for example, who use IEC standards, or rather national standards, based on IEC international standards, to ensure that their electrical installations are in conformity with established standards. Energy saving, preservation of the environment, renewable energies, sustainable development. Today these topics are the daily preoccupations of governments, media, civil society and industry. For years the IEC has shown the way, developing standards that deal with renewable energies, wind turbines, solar panels and fuel cells. Efficiency is not overlooked either. And the IEC works on standards that help both new and existing technologies to save more energy. The IEC publishes international standards to measure electromagnetic radiation in our immediate environment. Although it is not the IEC's job to fix the acceptable limits, IEC standards help measure emissions from mobile phones to household goods, thus offering industry and governments additional means of measuring up to agreed benchmarks. Do you know why you have to switch off mobile phones, computer games, or MP3 players on a plane, in a hospital? or any other place that is equipped with extremely sophisticated electrical or electronic systems? Do you know why interference affects your radio? Or the image on your TV appears snowy whenever your neighbor starts vacuuming the carpet? In the first case, many people's lives may depend on the observation of these strict rules. 
In the second, it is only a nuisance, frequent in the past, but almost completely forgotten today. In both cases, we are talking about electromagnetic compatibility, or EMC. Ever heard of the refrigerator that sends a message to your computer or your mobile phone to warn you that you need to buy milk? When out shopping, have you ever wanted to plug your mobile phone into the trolley so that your shopping list appears along with the price? Wouldn't it be nice to switch on heating, oven and other applications by remote control even before you arrive home? These are just a few examples of what your domestic environment might be like in the near future. Organic light emitting diodes or OLEDs are another type of new technology that should soon replace the now traditional LCDs. Energy saving, more flexible, cheaper. This technology already becoming reality promises a great future. The intelligent home, OLEDs, are these future technologies or technologies of the day after tomorrow, ones that are about to become reality and on which the IEC is already working? The IEC and Electrotechnology, bringing you the future is our natural passion.